It's my great pleasure to open the conference launching the new volume of Pauline Studies in Polish Jewry. It's dedicated to Jewish religious life in Poland since 1750. I'm going to talk about two Polish women who lived in different centuries, Bela Falk and Lea Horvitz. Let's compare our two ladies. As far as Bela is concerned, women should behave as women conventionally should. Exceptional women can behave occasionally like men, cross the gender boundary, in certain situations at certain times. Leia has a different idea. Women should behave as Jews. There is a permeable gender boundary with women and men mixing at the boundary. Bela was an exceptional woman who studied Torah. Leia is demanding that all women study Torah. Keep in mind that Leia was a younger contemporary of uh, Mary Wollstonecraft, famous pioneering English feminist. And if you read the two of them, they have much in common. In a partition Polish lands in the 19th century and later in the interwar period, uh, existed a number of synagogues which strive for modernization of the religious life. In Krakow, Lwów, Daniłowiczowska Street Synagogue um, and Great Tłumacki Street Synagogue in Warsaw, to name only um, the most well-known. These synagogues may have functioned as a network rather than operating independently of each other. In this book, I portray the Hasidim, the groups or the individuals who are keeping coming back uh, for great Sadikim yard sites to almost 30 places in Poland. Places like, for example, Tsangs or Lijens, where during one day or two days of yard site, they are from 10,000 to 25,000 people. They are traveling from various angles of the world where Hasidic enclaves were established after the Second World War. The scroll of the all world famous Hasidic festival on Night Kislev was published in Otvotsk. It had been customary for Hasidim to gather on that day and to tell stories about Schnellzaman's arrest and his liberation. Later, the Yutes Kislev was redefined as the Hasidic New Year. While the scroll itself was consigned to relative oblivion, this imagined community it helped creating lived on. All of the presentations we heard today are to be found in a larger form in volume 33, and I appeal to everybody to purchase volume 33.